So this is what it takes to get you on the cam. <laughs> I've been busy since the outbreak in Sawana Prime. La 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 la. I don't want to hear about your honeymoon. <laughs> You're just jealous I beat you down the aisle. Yeah, yeah. Well, at least you missed the ugly uniforms they had us wear in trials. Creams and beige. I saw. People look like a weird shopping catalog. Yeah, it's going to be a requirement a year. Speaking of a year, you better keep in contact. Speaking of quarantine, it's not going to interfere with your orders from Starfleet. Yeah, I have to say, Utopia Planitia is not going to be the same without you. <laughs> my charming smile, my clever wit. <laughs> your foul body odor. Oh, <laughs> I'm going to miss this. Yeah, I'm going to miss this too. I hear they're bringing Spangler back to strategic operations. Spanky? Oh man. Well, the captain did have close friends on the Melbourne. I'm telling you, I don't think that ship is ever going to be found. What makes you say that? Oh, that's right. V'ger happened. Now I see why he wants Spangler. I don't trust her, either. So, what can you tell me about where you're going? Nothing. But I can say... You know what we've had in the J-Con? Oh, wow. That's up there with the guys with the black badges. Black badges. So, is this goodbye? No, no. They can't keep me away. I'm sure I'll pop up from time to time. Plus, I want to see how the, the Constar experiment ends up. I don't think the Melbourne-style warp engines are made for a kind of class. That could lead us to Transorp. Aw, look at you and your ideas. New ways of warp doesn't always mean faster. Ha <laughs> ha, you doubt my skill? I'm telling you. I think the only thing this experiment is going to do is change the warp nacelles blue. You doubt me? No, never. You've been my superior through the most important times. You're also my best friend. I never doubt you. So I guess with your promotion, Don isn't going to be able to escape that station. I might try and suggest he get a position on the Constar. On my souped-up ship? What do you mean on my souped-up ship? But it will be a thing to talk about. Well, I have a thing I need to talk about with the captain. Good or bad? Uh, just about my departure orders. Well, Captain Minard is a good man. Yeah, but even good men have secrets. Well, I'd never try and change you, Holly. Your sense of right and wrong, that's what I love about you. And I thought it was my good looks. That goes both ways, bestie. If you your caboose needs saved, just ring. Same. <sighs> hey, Don. How much do you love me? Computer. Open a channel to Admiral Sam Grissom. Grissom here. Eric? That's Captain. Sir. So that's how it's going to be, eh? Who do you think you are? Excuse me, Captain? Undercutting me and taking my people? What gives you the right? If you want to keep those stripes, I'd change your tone real fast, mister. You think rank matters to me? You go ahead. Take them. Where is this coming from, Eric? Every time I do something good for myself, you get in my way. I've never gotten in your way, son. Don't call me son. First you go out, you get your crew killed. Then you lie to Starfleet about getting better. Then you abandon your crew. You're a fraud in every sense of the word. Admiral. Now wait a damn minute! You have no idea what I went through after all that. Everything came crashing down on me and I did what I had to do. Oh, what you had to do. Not giving a damn about anyone else in your way. Again, I've never gotten in your way. The Ajax promotion. That should have been mine. The Melbourne promotion. That should have been mine. They didn't suit you. But there's also a laundry list of admirals that it goes through, not just me. And at the end of all of those lists I ever tried, 
your name was at the end of all of it. You signed off on it. How did you even see that? You're a coward and a liar. No, that's not it. Then what is it? Why are you holding me back? Why did you abandon everything you stood for? You just wouldn't understand. If it weren't for people like you, I wouldn't be in this line of work. The least you can do is look me in the eye and answer what I need to know. Son, it's... I just can't answer that. Then there's nothing left to say, Sam. There's nothing left to talk about? Even though your father was closer to me than any of my own family? Damn it! When the Klingons destroyed his shuttle, and then your mother needed help, those memories came flooding back also. Well, I simply had to make a new start here at Starfleet. My father beat me all my life. And my mother abandoned me. These were not good people. I know they had their flaws, but they did love you. You weren't there. You never felt the fists as he hit me. You want to act like he was such a great man. Do it on your own time. I may not have a lot of time. I'm... I'm taking an assignment. Possibly the most dangerous one I've ever had, and I thought that we could... Well, Admiral, I'll see you out there. Okay, Sam. You're still in my crew. I think it's time I look into Project Gemini. Computer. Begin network protocols. Open program. Grissom here. Sorry to bother you, Admiral, but I have the report here on the incident with the Pretender. Send it over, I'll take a look. How are things over there? It's a lot to process. Don't forget why you're there. Understood, sir. are you? I'm you.
the man in green creates a wheel of fire from an isle of fear and all life was destroyed. I met a traveler from an antique land who said two vast and trunkless legs of stone stand in the desert. Near them, on the sand half sunk, a shattered visage lies whose frown and wrinkled lips and sneer of cold command till that its sculptor well those passions read which yet survive stamped on these lifeless things the hand that mocked them and the heart that fed and on the pedestal these words appear my name is Ozymandias King of kings, look on my works, ye mighty in despair. Nothing beside remains round the decay of that colossal wreck, boundless and bare. The lone and level sands stretch far away. So what are you? I'm an admiral. <gasps> Buckle your seatbelt. <laughs> yes, buckle your seatbelt. <laughs>